Baroness Thatcher, who recently passed away on the 8th of April 2013, was elected Member of Parliament for Finchley in 1959 and served as its MP until 1992. She was Prime Minister of Great Britain and Northern Ireland between 1979 and 1990 and the first ever woman to hold <coughs> that office. On the 6th of February 1980, she was awarded the freedom of the borough after 20 years of dedicated service <coughs> in a ceremony held here at Hendon Town Hall. Amongst the guests present at the ceremony were her husband, Dennis, the Deputy Lieutenant Colonel F. E. Wilkins, the MPs for Hendon South and Chipping Barnet, Peter Thomas and Sidney Chapman, <coughs> Mr. Mo Mr. Roland Freeman, Finch's GLC <coughs> representative, and Councillor Christopher Wolford, the Mayor of Kensington and Chelsea. The casket contained the stroll of the freedom and was designed and made by Mr. Gerald Lattice and pupils of Woodhouse School. <coughs> there was a congratulation for Mrs. Thatcher from the Mayor, Councillor Mrs. Rita Levy, from Councillor Leader Leslie Kim, from Councillor Mrs. Edward James, and from <coughs> Councillor Bill Hart. During the ceremony, she gave thanks to those who selected her in 1959. A special mention was given to Alderman Alfred Pike, a former mayor of Finchley, and to Freeman, Bert Blatch, a former local editor. Councillors Victor Usher and Bill Hart, Mrs. Tina Constable, Mrs. Betty Gibson, and Mr. Gordon Bryson all spoke at that particular ceremony. Baroness Thatcher spoke of the annual events she attended in her constituency, such as Finchley Rotary Club dinner and the Christmas meeting with pensioners. Even when no longer MP for Finchley, Baroness Thatcher's interest in Finchley and the borough <coughs> remained. In 1992, she left the House of Commons. She was appointed a peeress in the House of Lords with the title of Baroness Thatcher of Kisterman and continued giving speeches and lectures across the world. And in 1995, she became a member of the Order of the Garter, the highest order of knighthood in England. I'd like to just take a minute to tell you a personal story in the recollection of, of, of Baron Thatcher. Uh, I knew her both as a member of parliament and also, of course, as prime minister. And I can remember a fundraising in, event in the constituency, a rather large house, I think somewhere on Hampton Garden, uh, Sutherland, the most glorious uh, ornate fireplace. And I'm standing at the fireplace with my back to the room, talking to a couple of my colleagues. And suddenly there was a tap on my shoulder. Excuse me, dear, would you move? <laughs> and it was uh, Mrs. Thatcher, and I moved. And she bent down, and the rug that I'd been standing on at the fireplace got rubbed because I was standing on it. She straightened the rug, and she, she got up. And that, for me, tells us something about uh, the lady. She had the most amazing, the most amazing memory for detail, and she remembered people for years and years and years. Towards the end, I know that was not the case. We were aware of her suffering. But until a few years ago, if she met you once or twice, she remembered you, and that was really quite something. Um, Tonight we are going to pay our own tributes to her and I would ask please from all sides of the house that we do this with decorum and with respect.